Morning man Ted here wanted to give you that video I told you about a few months back or a few about a month ago I guess of what all these wires and stuff was here for. Well all these wires that I have that little black box you see it goes to a winch. That way if I get stuck I can easily pull myself out of the mud. I've got everything where I can take it off and I just hook it to the trailer when I'm not using it and when I need it I can put it on the mower. I've used the optional light switch hole for my switch for my winch and to easily and quickly access to hook up my power I put little alligator clamps on for my hot and ground post on the battery so I can easily have the power. The winch has come in handy so far this year. I've had to pull myself out a time or two with a little mower which I just recently got it rigged up here the other day had a receiver put on the front for it so I can get it, get the winch on it because you see here I got got my wires tied under there we raise the seat up here you'll see we got that same little black box sitting right down there and I done the same thing got the little alligator clamps and I've had to put my switch in a different spot on this and since it didn't have an exception, uh, accessory light switch deal, I put my switch right here on the side of the seat. Simple, simple enough as that and that comes in handy when you're out by yourself and you wind up getting stuck in the mud or a ditch or whatever. You can see the, well maybe you can see there it is, a switch right down in there. All I gotta do when I'm needing it, just cut my zip tie run my wire out the side and put, put the right wire on my uh, pot negative side of the winch and then it's ready to rock and roll so that's the best way to get get yourself out of the mud just rig yourself up a way to have a winch of course this big mower here come factory with a receiver on the front where the little one over here we put it on there last week so I've already had to use it since I put it on there because I've it's been quite rainy here. We've had over 40% of our rainfall in two months for the year, so yeah. 20 something inches of rain is quite a bit in about three months, so it's been quite wet. So y'all stay tuned.